Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you interested in pre-ordering a Valve Steam Deck, then stay tuned. I'm going to walk you all through the process. As of the date of filming this video, this device has actually been available for pre-order. Uh, one thing I want to cover really quickly is I want to go to this Steam Deck, uh, basically like a post on PC Gamer. So wanted to walk you through something as the date looks like for some, it could actually be pushed back to mid-2020 for newer reservations. So your reservation doesn't guarantee you're going to get the first batch, especially as if you're watching this video, you're probably a little bit later to the game. So the people that are actually scalping these, which basically means they're buying the reservations super cheap and then they're reselling them online. I've read articles of people selling upwards of $1,500. So essentially those people may have earlier, um, like earlier reservations. Bear in mind that the reservation does not guarantee you will be in the first batch. So first batch supposedly going to be released around December of 2021. Um, but if you're pre-ordering now, that may not necessarily be the case, but I would still recommend doing the pre-order now and sorting things out later, especially as the pre-order is $5. So we'll go ahead and walk through the, uh, the process I will paste this article in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what I'm saying so far or what I'm about to say. Love to see you all in the next video. Now, jumping straight in, this link will be in the description as well. So you're going to go to store.steampower.com slash steam deck. When you're here, first and foremost, make sure that you create your actual steam account if you don't have one. Uh, per the PC Gamer article, it looks like they actually, when they first released it, had a delay on some newer accounts for people who are just going to go create a ton, buy them, and then resell them. But there is also a reason that they have a $5 price tag to it, is essentially to make sure that people aren't just scalping, and then they probably have their other reasons as well. So, again, if you're wanting to make sure that you're not that person buying it for $2,000 when they're actually being sold on Amazon, even though they really only cost between $400 and $650 right now, then stay tuned. So this is really all you have to do. You are going to click on one of these options. I would recommend if you have a question, buy the more expensive option. If you decide you want to uh, basically it was too much or you want to pay for something different, what my recommendation would be is to go ahead and sell it when it first comes out and just get a cheaper model. That's probably going to be easier for you, especially based on the price. So you're going to click login for reservation. You are going to enter in your name. So I just made this for the sake of this video. And then you're going to type in your password. And my recommendation, create this account now. That way, if supplies end up dwindling or have any issues, you can literally jump straight in and you don't have to create your account, verify your email, and then go from there. Now, as you can see, here is the expected date. I've already ordered mine on this account. Um, and I actually have an order on a different account just to kind of compare the times. So the order update and estimates are listed here when you're actually able to get that item. And you'll see it was reserved at the date of filming this. So again, no guarantee. And people that are selling pre-orders can kind of sell based on what's listed here is, is my guess. But what you would essentially do is you'll click pre-order and you're literally just going to go to a payment page. You'll agree to pay the $5, type in your payment info and you'll click reserve and that's all you do. Again, reservations are essentially open back up from what I can tell. The only tricky part is you're not necessarily guaranteed to get it ASAP. So here are a couple recommendations. Now, first and foremost is always going to be to join as many safe forums as you can. So keep your security and information in mind when you're signing up, especially on like random websites. But go sign up on different forums like Reddit, etc. Join your email is going to get blown up regularly, but join the forums basically sign up and you're just trying to figure out kind of keep your ear to the ground the idea is what exactly is out there what can i figure out um, and then obviously making your account on this website and then go ahead and place your steam deck order now and figure things out later if you need to you can always sell that reservation or just not buy it so the idea is this is the website you're going to want to make sure that you have on google chrome or whatever your browser is Refresh regularly if you don't see the reservation option. If you see the reservation option, go ahead and take charge, you know, get, get the order. And that's honestly all there is to it. So the pre-order process is incredibly easy. Um, while supplies last, obviously, and as we can see from how things went with the Nintendo Switch, not that they're the exact same, they are very different, but once those pre-orders start flowing in, uh, you want to get in as soon as you can. So better to place the order now, join all the forums you can, see if there are any pockets that appear. If you do decide to go through a scalper, 
do everything you can to keep your security and make sure it's basically keep your information safe and make sure it's an authentic seller. Make sure that you aren't potentially buying a non-existent reservation. Trust me, there are going to be people that will be trying to sell reservations that are non-existent. So um, I would just recommend taking all those precautions if you can. And that's really all that there is to this video. So like, subscribe, check out the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.